Get ready to match the stars from the love boat, Bernie Capel, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Barnaby Jones, Lee Merriweather, Richard Dawson, and Betty White as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 78. And now, here's the star of Match Game 78, Gene. How are you, John? Great. Are they all right? Perfect. I hope so. That bunch we had yesterday, boy. <laughs> boy. <laughs> oh. Okay. Now let's begin by greeting our two players, June Wagner and Ann Amy. Oh, they are. Much better than yesterday. Uh, this lady's a current champ. She has a total of $2,850 to her credit, and we're very happy for her. Thank you. How do you feel today? Oh, just wonderful. Good. Wonderful. How does Ann Amy feel today? Great. Good. <laughs> All right, she's had one question, and she didn't match any celebrities, but the first question, remember, is harder than the second one. And yours will be long in a moment, but right now this is coming your way. Pay attention, if you please. Ready? There we are, the other round one question. June Wagner, this is yours, the champ. Frank said... Boy, was I sick. Oh, my fever was so high, my blank melted. <laughs> sick. My fever was so high, my blank melted. Now that is sick. Boy. You've got, oh, Bernie. Oh, that's very quick. Very oh, yes. expeditiously done. Well, he's a doctor. Yeah, right. Hi, <laughs> Betty. <laughs> he would know, right. <laughs> Frank said, boy, was I sick. My fever was so high, my blank melted. My thermometer. Yeah! My thermometer melted. Yeah! That'd be hot. Pretty hot. Very, very hot. Right. Frank's right. fever was so high, his boop boop melted. Oh. Oh, Actually... Really? It's thermometer melted. Thermometer. Okay, June, you picked up one. All right. Frank's fever was so high, his nighty melted. His nighty. <laughs> Your old nighty had just smell the way it was made of a smart nylon. Right. Now, Charles. <laughs> yeah. His eyeglasses melted. His eyeglasses melted. June is looking for the answer, thermometer. What do you have there, Lee? She's looking for what? Frank's fees were so high, my fee were so high, my thermometer melted. My thermometer melted. Thermometer melted? That's cute with her. Right, way to go. Now, uh, Richard? Hair. Hair! <laughs> Uh, that was hot, yeah, because the blood supply is so oh. strong in your head, your <laughs> hair would melt right off there. Well, it's a matter of degree. Yes. Uh, the <laughs> thermometer is another match, so she's got three. <laughs> Round two coming up, Ann. A or B? A, please. A it is. Now, let's see what we have for Ann. Mary said, mm -hmm. I think my new dentist used to be a plumber. <laughs> He tried to fix my teeth with blank. <laughs> I think my new dentist used to be a plumber. He tried to fix my teeth with blank. Plumber. Try to fix my teeth with blank. Well, he's an authority on teeth. Heaven knows he spent his life at the dentist chair. Right. And all his money. Why he dresses the way he does. <laughs> Plumber. Try to fix my teeth with blank. <laughs> Have you thought about this, Ann? Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. Okay, put it in the slot there. Mary said, I think my new dentist used to be a plumber. He tried to fix my teeth with blank. 
A plunger? A plunger. I should know, but I... <laughs> that's all I could think of. Is your... Uh, yes, now I'm wait a minute. Hygienist. You're a dental hygienist, <laughs> and your, your husband is a dentist. But he doesn't use a plunger. I... <laughs> uh, well, I hope to heavens he doesn't. What do you call that long... Is it a snake? That's the only other thing I can come up with. It. Well, we'll have to go with your first answer, plunger. Snake would have been equally bad. <laughs> What do you say? I think the most widely known uh, instrument of a plumber is a wrench. A wrench, yeah. A wrench. That uh, would probably be the definitive answer. What do you say? Well, actually, the ma it's, it's a wrench with a monkey on it. A monkey wrench. They use those, yes. Charles. A monkey wrench. All a that monkey wrench. That's my answer after all. Right. Uh, Ann, you must match the three people down here to achieve a tie and stay in the game. Lee? Oh, dear. The uh, operative word for me was fix. Fix. You know, and teeth and... Trying to fix my there, teeth. It was putty. Putty. <laughs> so that means <laughs> June Wagner wins again. We have Drano and Drano. There's your little spot there. And Match Game 78 will send a whole bunch of gifts to you together with our thanks for Thank being here you. with us. And Amy, ladies and gentlemen, while we're spinning her off, we're going to spin a message to you just for you. Howdy, see you. Here we are with June Wagner, second trip up here. She now has $2,950, and she could win another bundle over $5,000 if it works well for her. Let's see uh, what happens this time. June, uh, we polled a bunch of people. We said, please write down your best answer to this. The house blank. Uh, remember, if you match the answer they wrote down most frequently, you get $500. For matching their second most popular answer, you get $250. And then for matching the third most frequently given response, you get $100. And three of the six stars will help. I'll call on Richard again. The house that Jack built. The house that Jack built. Yep. Okay, Brett. I have two. Yeah, and they're both on my card. <laughs> See that camera two? Directors get camera one. Check it out. See what America should see. Well, I keep a two shot on the two of you all the time. Yes. The House of Usher. The House of Usher. Uh, it's a very famous uh, thing by Edgar Allan Poe. Yes. We Try to keep it up into the 1900s at least. <laughs> and Charles. Go ahead. Take something of mine. <laughs> Well, oh, that's good. That stinks. That stinks. And Isn't this some great go. intellectual discussion? Oh, I got a good one. What? The House of Wax. <laughs> I'm a ventriloquist, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the House of Wax. The House of Wax. Okay. The House that Jack built, House of Wax, and the House of Usher. Oh. I'll take the house that Jack built. Yeah. The house that Jack built, the one that Richard gave you. Let's find out where it is up there. I'm sure it's up there somewhere. It sounds like a popular favorite to me. May we see the $100 number? The House of Representatives. That's the same thing. House of Wax. The House of Wax, right. I'll buy that. Yeah. 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 The same answer. Right. Well, he's right. America's trying to tell you something, you guys down there in the District of Columbia. May we see the $250 number, please? The House of Horrors, that's the same, same thing. thing. Yes, sir. <laughs> what? You think it's going to be the House of Usher? Sure. I bet Jack. you $1,000 right. it is. Jack. Got to be the House of Jack Bill. All right, Ori, slide it. Yeah. Congratulations, June. You now have $3,450. Good. Now... You're going to play for another $5,000, your first time for the big money here. And to collect that amount of money, remember what you have to do. That you have to have an exact match with just one star. Which one will it be? Okay, I'll go with Richard. All right, you did it last time. Let's see if you do it this time. Good luck to you, June. Here it is. It reads as follows. Blank Records. R-E-C-O-R-D-S. Blank Records. <laughs> Blank Records. Don't say it yet. All right, now if you give us the same answer that Richard has written on the card, we give you $5,000. There it is. 
What do you say? All I can think of is court records. Court records. Was that difficult? Boo. What's that? I was waiting for the boo from the audience. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe they were thinking of the same thing you were thinking of. We'll find out. She says court records is the answer she wants to give to match you, Richard. No, Don. You're swimming in everything. I thought oh. of Olympic records. Oh. Olympic records, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Olympic records. Well, that was kind of a difficult one, Olympic records. Listen, you've picked up a little extra money here. You've got $3,450, and you're now going to meet another player named Betty White. <laughs> Will the real Betty White please stand up? <laughs> you sit down, Richard. My name is Betty White. <laughs> Richard, my Look. name is Betty White. Richard said I never looked better. <laughs> what are you doing here? You are an imposter. <laughs> no, here. I'm not going to be Betty White very long. I'm getting married next Saturday. Oh. <laughs> Whom are you marrying? A Alan gentleman Lund. in the corner down there. <laughs> Tell in the corner. What's his name? Mitchell. Mitchell. So you'll be Betty Mitchell. No, <laughs> Betty Bowen. Oh, Mitchell Bowen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Betty Bowen. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we offer you our best wishes and him our congratulations. Uh, anything else you want to tell us about you? Well, I'm going to college. I'm a sales clerk, and I'd like to be a flight attendant. You want to be a flight attendant? Mm -hmm. All right. Good luck to you here, Betty White. <laughs> it's going to be very difficult to carry on here, but we'll do the best we can. Now, you may have A or B. I'll take B. B for Betty. Mm -hmm. There she goes again. <laughs> Get me all mixed up. Mary said, I'm not sure I like going out with a butcher. He's the only guy I know who has a blank hanging from his car's rear view mirror. <laughs> not sure I like going out with a butcher. He's the only guy who has a blank hanging from his rear view mirror. You do understand. Mary said, I'm not sure I like going out with a butcher. He's the only guy I know who has a blank hanging from his rear view mirror. No. I guess Betty was the one who started that trend about having babies without getting married, right? <laughs> Let me think. But I didn't think she'd be so blatant, did yeah. you? It's called cloning. <laughs> they have cloned Betty White. Ready? Take that to the woman at the other counter. Okay, I will. Yes, wonderful. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right. They are ready. Mary said, I'm not sure I like going out with a butcher. He's the only guy I know who has a blank hanging from his car's rear view mirror. A butcher's knife. A butcher's knife. <laughs> what do they usually hang from the rear view mirror? Uh, anything. Dice, tassels. Uh... What else have you seen? Shells. <laughs> yes, well, I guess we don't travel in the same circles. What do you say, Bernie? I say he's got a stake hanging from his rear view a mirror. A stake hanging from the rear view mirror? The All right. Oh, That's a, a butcher might do that to age it a little bit. <laughs> what do you say? I was going to say Betty White, but I said a, a, a euphemism for Betty White. I said a uh, side of beef. A side of beef. <laughs> I oh. had aged beef. Aged beef. No. I know what you're going for. Because yeah. I can see it in your in your eyes and your face. This will, you'll understand this. Pig's foot. Right. Right. Well, because the thing you traditionally see hanging from a rear view mirror is a child's, a, a, an infant's shoe that has been bronzed, you know. Uh, a or a rabbit's foot. Or a rabbit's, rabbit's foot. foot. Dice. No, yes. I, I right. always see meat cleavers. Meat cleavers. Oh. More <laughs> than... Yes. No, did not match. Yes, it did. Well, it did for a second. It's a butcher's it knife. Is a meat cleaver. Well, no, a butcher's... Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> no. no. Cleaver is cleaver and a knife is a knife. Never the cleaver. twain shall oh. meet. That's your basic that's cleaver. A meat cleaver. Yes. That's a cleaver. And that's a butcher's knife. And no, that's not a knife, really. But a butcher's knife is a meat cleaver. No, there it is. There's a butcher's knife. knife. There's a butcher's there knife. No, that's an ordinary kind of knife. I'm gonna stab you with my knife. <laughs> gotcha. And here, of course, for those who love pictures, your butcher's hook. <laughs> <laughs> 
a butcher's <laughs> hook. Right. right. He used could to have hang that. her up there and... Right. <laughs> I remember. All right. Now we come to you, my dear. Are you ready for us, Betty? Yes. This is your basic tail. A tail. Oxtail, right. And oh. later, you make oxtail soup from it, of course. Okay. Got the idea now. All right, you'll improve later. Right now, we've got this for you. Now, let's carry on with round one. June, we have this question for you, which says, Sally said, it's tough being married to a lawyer. He yells, I object every time I blank. <laughs> tough being married to a lawyer. He yells, I object every time I blank. Every time I blank. Every time I blank. He yells, I object. Or he yells, I object, every time I blink. I don't suppose I should do anything on lawyers today, should I? <laughs> we all know how I feel about them. You yes, don't we need do. one unless you commit a crime. <laughs> There's finished. Right. What was the question? Oh. <laughs> Sally said it's tough being married to a lawyer. He yells, I object, every time I blink. <laughs> much. Aren't we having a good time here today? We're having a lot of fun here good. today. Good. I'm so glad you came. The party's wonderful. The hors d'oeuvres haven't arrived yet, but they will. Oh, she'll be here in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to your brain? It did just when I was here last time, wasn't it? Yeah. Through my That's ear. Yeah. Um, he yells, "I object!" Every time I blink. Every time I. I can't think of a thing. All right. I'm June sorry. Wagner, Sally said it's tough being married to a lawyer. He yells, I object every time I blank. I'm drawing on my own experience here. Serve a meal. Really? Bad. Why well, are meals you... are bad, too. Really? <laughs> She's heard that uh, before, apparently. What did you say, Bernie? Well, I'm not a lawyer, so I don't have to worry about things like that, but I have kiss him. Kiss him. You don't like that? Well, You'll let us know when we come to a good one, huh? Oh, okay. What do you say, Brad? Hang in there, kids. I thought this... that was pretty nifty myself. That... I liked it. Yes. It wasn't bad. <laughs> uh, this, I, I believe this is a match. Cook dinner. Cook dinner. <laughs> All right. One for June. <laughs> yes, sir? I'm drawing on my own experience with this. I uh, want to make whoopee. Want to make whoopee. <laughs> He yells, I object every time I want to make whoopee. <laughs> That's a good lawyer for you. Now, what finally came to your tiny brain? I... Th I <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I thank, actually, Bernie for this because I'm sure he was trying to help me and, and what came through was kiss him. Oh, yeah. Well, he looked over your shoulder. <laughs> no, he didn't. He no, wrote his before mine. I was the last one. <laughs> Richard? Oh, dear. What do you hear from Bubbles the hippo? <laughs> <laughs> Cook for him. Cook for oh, him. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Cook. Oh, Cook. Oh, uh -huh. Cook for him. Ah, uh, now we come now to Now that's this. out of order. I think that's just it. And now, I, I object. That's, oh. Now that's in order. Ah, yeah. oh, okay. Gilly is charged. Kiss him. Kiss him. Yay. Okay, so you picked up two there. Now we go to round two. And let's see what we've got for you, Betty, A I'll, or B. I'll try B again. B for Betty. What has she got here? Bob said, I just moved into a new high-rise. The building is so tall, they don't oh, have... Oh, cool it. <laughs> the building is so tall, they don't have fire escapes. Each tenant is issued a blank. <laughs> the building is so tall, they don't have fire escapes. Each tenant is issued a blank. Okay. Are you ready, Betty White? Huh? Yes. <laughs> uh, I mean, this Betty White. Lee, would you put it in the card there and stop yes. fiddling around there? Bob said it just moved into a new high-rise. The building is so tall, they don't have fire escapes. Each tenant is issued a blank. A parachute. Parachute! <laughs> they did let us know when they came to a good one, didn't they? That's the kind of answer And he's I got like. the good one. <laughs> have you got the good one? Fly away. Parachute. Hey, parachute. That's two good ones, Charles. Parachute is good, but uh, yeah, but they have hang gliders for family. <laughs> parachute for the hang gliders for the whole family if they want to get away at one time. Lee? I'm really not sure if this is a match or not. 
Yes, that is imagined. Indeed, that is a pair of shoes. That's four for her. What do we got there, Richard? Another pair of shoes. Another pair of shoes. Nice. Betty White is rolling along. From Betty White to Betty White. Betty White to Betty White, a pair of shoes. A pair of shoes. Well, you got all six of them. Congratulations to you. And now we've got this for you. Gene Rayburn here joining us next time for Match Game 78, Tally Ho. Exasperated by simple-minded word games? Boy, I've never heard this one before. Then beguile yourself with the subtle nuances and esoteric musings of lingo. How did you come up with the name Butt Monkey? This is where quintuplet lexicons come to gamble. Excuse me? It's not just words, dear boy, it's lingo. Tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern and Pacific on Game Show Network.